conservation of momentum. Today is December 9th, and the objective of this lab is verify the conservation of momentum for a variety of different collisions and separations. In addition, calculate the initial and final kinetic energies of the system to determine the elasticity of the collision. Prior to this lab, we have Melissa Frankenberry, Carrie Maloney, who's filming, Elizabeth Lachey, May Doherty, and Lily McLaughlin, who is now going to tell you the materials. The materials used in this lab were two cards, two photo gates, two cards, one track, a spring scale, two weights, a computer, and the science workshop. Can I be in it? Go. Procedure. First you have to gather the materials, then you have to connect the photo gates to the ramp. Next, put the cards onto the cards and make sure that the top black bar is lined up with the photo gate. Have Mr. Lamoro uh, put up your science workshop on the computer and connect it to the track. Now start your first trial by placing one card at the end of the ramp and the other card in the middle. Push the first card and have them collide. Record your velocities. Next, add a weight to the first card and push it again at the card that has an initial velocity of zero and record your results. For the third trial, put on two weights to the first card and push it at the other and have a collision and record your results. Um, for the fourth trial, for the fourth trial, you set it up so that the two carts are in the middle of the photo gates to together. Then you hit the little bar and make them separate and record your final velocities. And for the last trial, for the last trial, you start the two carts at the opposite ends of the track and you push and you push them together with the velcro out so that they connect and make it uh, an elastic trial and record your <laughs> and record your results and then conclude
this lab, we, try, we were trying to verify that the conservation of momentum is true. This would mean that as mass increases, the velocity decreases because momentum equals mass times velocity. We proved this by adding weight to the cart in trials 2 and 3. When we added weight, the initial velocity decreased. The kinetic energy should stay the same because of the conservation of momentum. The mass and velocity would stay the same. <laughs> the results of our lab could have been errored if we pushed the carts with different forces or if the carts started at different distances from the photo gates. Another source of error could be if the photo gates were broken or if we put the card in the wrong spot and the photo gate didn't read. Our results could also be thrown off if the cards didn't meet in the middle. <laughs>